What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And I'd just like to invite you, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screens. Turn on those bell notifications so that you don't miss an episode. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about what just happened about a month ago or so. I've been wanting to make this video for a little bit. Um, I, I cannot believe that this is happening, but it's happening and it's happening in the oil field. Do you guys remember a few months ago, I made this video? Well, if you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. I'll leave a link down in the description. But basically what that video was talking about was about Pilot and how they're gonna let Kodiak, if you guys don't know who Kodiak is, it's a self-driving truck company. They actually make self-driving trucks and push those trucks out to carriers to basically get rid of drivers, in my opinion, and cut their cost. But Kodiak just made a pretty big move by putting their self-driving autonomous trucks in the oil field. Now, Atlas Sand, which are these guys right here, just decided to use Kodiak to basically move their sand around all of West Texas. Now, Atlas is a pretty big supplier of sand in West Texas. Most operators use them in their fracking operations. And they also have their own trucks and drivers. And these are the tan trucks that you see going down the leash road pulling like doubles and triples. Now, I've made some suggestions in the past in some of my other videos talking about autonomous trucks that I didn't think that autonomous trucks would actually be used in the oil field just because of the way the roads are, how the leash roads are, things like that. Especially all the potholes that we have out here in West Texas. Our roads are not really known for being the best. And also the traffic that are on the highways. But I guess I was wrong about that. Now they started doing this driverless truck thing back I think in July 23rd of this year, 2024. And basically what they did was run from their facility there in Kermit, like 21 miles out to an actual frack location using a autonomous semi truck. Guys, it was pretty successful. Trucks that are hauling prop in or sand account for about 50% of all of the trucks semis moving around in West Texas right now. Now, all I'm saying is if Kodiak's pretty successful with Atlas, which is a gigantic company, I wonder how long it would take for other sand haulers or sand producers to kind of get on board. You know what I'm saying? Cutting out that middleman, those little mom and pop trucking companies that haul prop in. And on top of that, we have to think about what else could self-driving trucks take care of in the oil field that would put drivers out of jobs. It's a lot to think about, it's a lot to chew, but apparently we should have about another year before Atlas is actually ready for Kodiak to kind of take over and start putting in more trucks that are autonomous into their fleet. And we're looking at a timeline of about mid 2025. Now I do strongly believe that autonomous vehicles, especially with like water hauling, pump trucks, you know, service equipment, I don't think that it would take over unless that system got extremely, extremely good. And on top of that, you would still have to have a guy on location to actually use the pumps, service wells, and do whatever other work would be required on location. So I'm not really sure what type of direction the autonomous trucks will take in the oil field but i do know this a lot of sand haulers are going to be out of jobs pretty soon anyway guys that's the video today i just wanted to give you guys an update about what's going on out here in the oil field with the autonomous truck situation didn't think that it was going to be coming this fast but Apparently it's here already. So we have that to look forward to. You know, maybe it might be successful or again, it might not be so successful. You might end up having a lot of those Kodiak trucks sitting on the side of the road pretty soon because they either hit a pothole, broke the truck or got stuck in a sand hole or something along those natures. Because you guys know how bad our leash roads here are in West Texas. And they might come to realize that maybe it's uh, probably not a good idea to have a autonomous truck out in the oil field. But we'll see how it goes. It might be successful we might all be out of jobs pretty soon but uh you know it is what it is but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys aren't already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screens turn on those bell notifications so that you guys will get notified every single time that i put out a video and until next time keep it between the ditches